So our Sith Mandalorian is about to open his sauce. I believe this is from last month because I just got a shipping notice for this month. Okay, so we have the stickers. Yay, stickers are cool. Alrighty then. Florida man's lunacy. Okay. <laughs> Roasted garlic hot sauce. Well, that sounds interesting. Uh, we're going to use it to, in tonight's dinner, which is coming to us from the Star Wars Galaxy Edge cookbook. Which is why we had the whole Sith uh, Mandalorian. We're going, we're going to be traveling to Naboo today and have a shrimp salad, noodle salad. That sounds really cool. And the uh, hot sauce will be going in the dressing room. So cool. We'll see you in a few. And we must obey Yoda. <laughs> yes, we must. Except you were a Sith Lord. <laughs> Are you going to obey? You train some of the best of us. That's true. <laughs> That's true. All right. So let us get into the meat of the cooking. Although it looks like today there's no meat. No, well, there is meat. There is meat. Apparently the, my hilt isn't sharp enough, so I'm going to have to put this away. Um, <laughs> I have to sharpen it later. Although, um, I do have my other knife here, so we'll just go ahead and... Try to put that away. <laughs> leave, leave this right there. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, I have stuff on the stove cooking. I can hear butter going... <laughs> Alright, so, we're doing a yolk shrimp noodle salad from Naboo. Yolk shrimp are a delicacy in Naboo. The problem is that the yolk shrimp are kind of dangerous and um, very difficult to catch. So, but first we're going to start off with some oyster mushrooms. Uh, we have the butter going for it on the stove, which you hear crackling in the background. It's going to be a simple noodle salad. It's going to consist of uh, vermicelli rice noodles, red bell pepper, red onion, some carrots, um, vinaigrette that we're making here, which consists of garlic cloves, sugar, hot sauce of my choice, lime juice, soy sauce, and I added some uh, ponzu. So it's a mix of ponzu and soy sauce in the container. Ponzu is a citrus umami type sauce um you can actually get it with specific citrus there were like two different types of ponzus when we went to the store i like to use it as a salad dressing in general so it's really neat stuff you might have to put that on the list for next time along with the soy sauce because i used it all time. oh okay <laughs> of course you did <laughs> just, just letting you know the naboos you know they like their food naboo is a planet that was for Amidala. She was queen, but also it had a ocean. So a lot of their food was seafood. And today we are using some nice shrimp. It's already been cleaned, the shell. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into our butter that's already going on here. Uh, now it asked for dried mushrooms. I really didn't want to do deal with that. I like oyster mushrooms. I thought it'd be pretty on a salad. Sizzle, sizzle, toil and sizzle. What's in that pot? We have stock going here. We have a shrimp stock that I made. So we're going to poach the shrimp in the shrimp stock. And I'm also going to cook our vermicelli rice noodles in shrimp stock. Get the flavor in. We're doing Abu seafood, so let's see how it works out. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. So we are going to go ahead and uh, get some vegetables going while that's cooking. Now, see, he cuts both ends off the pepper. I don't do that. 
I cut the top off and then I just pull the thing out. Mind you, his is probably easier, but I just pull the thing out. We're not cooking any of this. This is all fresh. Like I said, the Raw. mushrooms are uh, supposed to be um, supposed to be mushrooms that are dehydrated. So you let them soak. I don't know if we can find any of those actually anywhere. So dehydrated mushrooms. I'm well, thinking. Well, the ones that we're looking for. Probably oh, we can. Probably, but the only thing I ever see in the package second section as dehydrated are usually peppers. Any mushrooms I find that are aren't fresh are usually in cans, which I don't think is what you want. So again, this is it really it's a simple salad. I try to use everything. So he's using the ends up. Yeah, we try to have as little food waste in this house as possible. Go ahead and throw these in here. Again, I'm waiting for the pasta and the uh, um, shrimp stock to go ahead and boil up. Shrimp will not take that long. I'll show you a really quick trick on that. Uh, Dami loves it. Cook it really quick. Uh, poach it and then let it go into the... Uh, I'm going to put it in the freezer to cool off. But I'm not going to put it in there long enough for it to freeze. So just to get a quick chill. And he, when he did this, we discovered something. Uh, we would have been having some problems with cooking some certain shrimp. It would get a... Chalkiness. It's like a chalky type of, I don't know, coating or something. And when he does it this way, that doesn't come up. Yeah, and it's only poached maybe a minute. Just until you see the pinkness and it started to curl. One of my chefs told me, really funny, so you see your shrimp when you're cooking it, and if it looks like a U, means it's undercooked. If it looks like an O, it means it's overcooked. If it looks like a C, then it's cooked. So it's a little interesting tidbit. That's a really good tip. Because I always wonder when I hit that pink point, when is it too much? Right. Now see, he can do this. I just, when I work with carrots that I need to have some kind of strip from, I just keep using a peeler because <laughs> I don't like to work with the knife with these things. They're hard. <laughs> oh no, it's onions. Went to the onions. Onions, no! They always make me cry. So Both. red onion, we're gonna do a little, um, again, quick slice on these. When I do onions, I go ahead and try to take off two peels so I'm not messing with the outer skin. It's not going to kill you. not going to hurt. Again, we can use our stuff for uh, stocks. Yeah, I take off the outer peel too. Only because it's annoying. So. Oh boy. <laughs> it's hitting. Really? Yeah, I can smell it. Doing the cuts the chefy way. Got all the skin tossed. So now we're going to go ahead and get our mushrooms off here. Hey, mushrooms! Trying to strain her here. Strain out all that butter. Let it sit for a second and let it go. Let it cool off. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add our rice noodles. 
These don't take long at all. No, you take about six minutes. Just drop them in. Yeah, there you go. Sunday, I hope that that was enough rice noodles for you. Oh, yeah, I have more. Just turned on a timer. Even chefs use timers. Yes, we have to use timers. Oh, so oh. we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice to our stock for the shrimp. I don't have any fresh lemons, or I would use that. And I'd actually take one lemon, cut it into quarters, squeeze it, and then throw it in. But we'll go ahead and just use the lemon juice. We have black peppercorn. Go ahead and throw some of those in there. Those are whole peppercorns too. Let's, right, these let's are show whole peppercorns. Nice whole peppercorns. And that's we, what you ground for your black pepper. Right. We do. We also have a grinder here that we use for our black pepper, but we also buy black pepper. So we have it all over the place. It's part of the flavor. These are our beautiful shrimp. Like I said, I have already peeled them. They've already been deveined. Just going to go ahead and pop them in there. Let them cook. Let them start to turn into a sea. They won't take long. They shouldn't take long at all. As you can see, they're already starting to turn a color a little bit there. See, you can see the pink edges, the, the gray edges, I should say. food and he's got a that was already put in the freezer yeah i put this in the freezer cool i have a space in the freezer so when we put it back in it's gonna chill maybe five seven minutes or so see how they're turning look at those beautiful shrimp oh somebody's really curled up there So he's putting them in the bowl that was in the freezer. If you could see the steam coming up there. <laughs> Looking for the ones that are already curling. Yeah, they're pretty much all curling. These are nice big shrimp too. Yep. And he kept the tails on. Yeah, uh, for a salad, you don't necessarily need to keep the tail on. I kept it on for presentation. Honestly, I, I like to keep the tail off so you can eat the whole thing. Also, we are not shrimp head eaters around here, usually. No, I used all of my shrimp heads and shells for this amazing stock that we got here. And this is, um, I don't know if anybody else does this. I did this for the first time. Normally, you just throw water. Water, peppercorns, lemon juice, and uh, some celery, and let it go, and then you cook it in um, the same amount of time, and then you go ahead and uh, um, do like I did, go ahead and strain it and put it in the cooler. Got this beautiful mix going here. And then mushrooms are going to go in that. Mushrooms are going to go in here. The shrimp's gonna go in here. That is pretty. I like the colors. The colors are very pretty. I love pretty colors, and I see you have cilantro or something in the background too. I have cilantro over here, which is gonna go on top. I'm gonna take some down. So while the pasta water is going, the stock is going, I'm gonna go ahead and take the vinaigrette and blend it all up. Now, apparently, I didn't pay attention. I'm supposed to do this overnight. But this will be fine. Just go ahead and add everything in there. So the lemon juice, the sugar, the soy sauce, the ponzu. Take the garlic. Get the peel off. Now I don't need to really cut it because it's getting Gonna get, in it's, the roboku. Yep. Yeah. Food processor for those of us who are not shuffling blind. And as I said, this is our new hot sauce. 
saw him open that up at the beginning. Apparently, they are not sending out cards, so he had no card to read to you. But now he's going to taste it for the first time. I'm going to try it. See what we have here. Find out the heat level and all that stuff. Oh, just want to come out. Drink that it's hard. Oh, come on. Well, that's the kind of looks like that's the kind of opening it is. Okay, that might be a go. warning. <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's nice and sweet. It's gonna go well. No heat? Oh, it's got some heat to it. So yes, I took the cap off. Going to add here we go. See he didn't add much. And it's about to get noisy. Ooh. Now the recipe called for xanthan gum. I do not have xanthan gum. I don't typically use it for anything. This will be fine. It's going to be a vinaigrette. a vinaigrette. Xanthan gum would just thicken it, right? I'm sorry? Xanthan gum would just thicken it. I think so. So if you really wanted to thicken it, you could add... I could add some oil as I'm, as I'm doing this right now. Or you could add... Um, the baking, not baking powder. Um, yes, baking soda. Baking soda or... No, 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 I'm sorry. Flour. It's cornstarch and water. Cornstarch, there we go. Go, baby, go. Is done. I'm gonna go get the pasta. Go get the pasta. Pasta. Woo, baby. Where goes the stock? You know I can smell that. Yeah, shrimp sure stock is really strong. It says to rinse it. We're gonna let it sit there in the cold water. So, like I said, this is all supposed to be a cold salad. Let it sit there in the cold water, and when I go ahead and plate it, it'll be easy to grab out. There's our mushrooms. Looks like it is coming together. It's a very quick dish, apparently. Yeah, it really is. Who's in there? Welcome back to the Cantina. Yes, this <laughs> is one of my favorite shirts. Moss Isley's Cantina. Where it's... our friends don't like you, and we don't like you either. <laughs> Live music all week, though. <laughs> it's one of the shirts that I got him in the monthly thing that I do, which I need to do this month. Oh, you haven't? Uh-oh. I was going to, and then... Money. <laughs> Alright, so first we're glopping in some noodles. Some noodles that don't want to be cooperative. Okay. I couldn't figure out which one to use, tongs or the spoon. Neither one seemed to be working too well. So, anyway. Here we go. Nice noodles. And I had already tossed everything in with the dressing. You got the shrimp, the mushrooms, the peppers, the carrots, and, and the, the dressing. Yeah, looks good. So, that goes. I'm gonna go ahead pop this in. wonder if the kids are going to like this. <laughs> oh, I didn't think they were getting any. <laughs> are you mean or what? No, we don't have enough. Oh, dear. So, here we go. Put the little cilantro that I had pulled while we were off. Isn't she pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty food. Yay. Ooh. And look at our pretty bowls. Yes, we have some beautiful shell bowls. I I've, love been those bowls. I've, I've been really working on getting him some really fancy plating stuff. And I've been trying to figure something out to make in this. So here we go. The first time we're using it. Beautiful salad. Yes, it is. Let's grab some of these noodles. Maybe. 
<laughs> they don't only want to come up, not come up for the, the tongs. They want to be difficult to eat. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to grab. Well then. Let's... You know, Tommy tries this any way she can. So. <laughs> Come here, shrimpy. There's a kick. That must be the... Must be the hot sauce. Mm. Well, you're right. It's not a bad kick. It's not a bad kick, though. It's just it's a little bit of heat. feels like it might build a little bit as you're eating, but it doesn't start off so bad that as it builds, you're going to go... Ah! <laughs> when I tasted the sauce, it tasted like it was too salty, too much soy sauce, mm. but I think all the rest of the flavors of the... Uh, Vegetables mixed together helped it out. So. I'm in love. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. That is good. So, A plus for Star Wars Galaxy Edge recipe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> the noodles are being annoying, but other than that, that is good. I'm taking my plate to the back room now. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Mm. Anyway, so that is it for the day, and we hope you like what you've seen, and if you do like what you've seen, we hope you will subscribe. When you subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when we upload. We currently upload two days a week. That would be Monday and Thursday. However, we have bonus videos. My son opens his Geek Fuel every month. And in the summer, we do our gardening videos. And if you send anything, that would also be opened as a bonus video. You don't have to, but if you do, and you don't want me to open it on the channel, just include a note in your box or join the Dobby Tries This Facebook group, which is listed right down below. And let me know on there. A box is on the way and you do not wish to have it opened in front of the entire universe. Not that we have a universe full of subscribers. So, hope you will subscribe. If you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they are both still active. If you choose not to subscribe, well, I don't know why. Food, folks. Food. Food. This man does great food. Everybody loves food. I mean, you can ignore all the makeup stuff, but come for the food. But if you choose not to subscribe anyway, you're always welcome back here. And until we see you again, bye. May the force be with you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>